Midjourney's new style reference feature dropped. I am going to show you how to use it and basically walk through the steps. I am in the Midjourney Alpha website and it is now available to any Midjourney members who have generated 5,000 or more images. So if you have been waiting to get access and you have generated over 5,000 images, you can get in and you can check if you have that many images from Discord adding forward slash and info. Okay, let's take a look. If I added just an image reference, I would just click here to say use image and it shows up over here. So this is the prompt that I had that I also copied over here on my create area. Now, in order to do the style reference, I will need to add that here into the prompt. And the way that you use the style reference, you add dash dash s ref, aka style reference. And then the easiest thing you can do is you just hold down the image and pull it over here. And now you have the URL here. You will need to have the URL here and then you just delete the image from that particular spot underneath the prompt. And now it's generating that image. Now, I didn't change the actual prompt to something else right now, but because I used the same reference style as in this photo, these are the results. So they should look very similar to what I just generated. And yes, I used very similar prompt, but regardless, that's what these particular images now look like. That's the output. So now let's say if we do something different. Again, the shortcut here is I can just, as long as I have my cursor hovering over here, I can just hit the up arrow button and I get the same thing here. So let's say I'm just going to take out the other descriptors here for the vibrant saturated colors and see what happens then. And I'm going to keep doing this and I'm going to change a few things around here just to basically observe what happens when I make some slight changes here. Let's also try it with a different um, particular setting here. It's still a woman and it's cyberpunk. This is just to start testing some few other things to see what happens when I change the subject. And then let's say cyberpunk woman and street scene, let's say, and let's do nighttime. Now, obviously this is already, if the style holds, then it should already have a nighttime scene anyway. So, okay, let's uh, scroll and see some of our results here. This is where I started to change the image a bit. I mean, or not the image, but the prompt. So the style is still similar, but it is slightly different as well. This looks pretty good. I like that one. This is the cyberpunk woman. So the style stays consistent from one to the next. Now we have other things that we can add into the mix. So let's go back to here and I again hit the arrow button up and we have this cyberpunk woman street scene nighttime for right now. Uh, let's see, they're still generating, so we'll wait. Um, but meanwhile, you can add now other things to it. Right now we just have the aspect ratio setting and then the V6. You have to have V6. It does not work with V5, any V5 or anything prior to that. So. You can add, for example, style raw. And then you can also add, for example, stylize. So if I want to stylize this, let's say 250, for example, and see what happens and try another one at 500. So basically what I want to do right now is I'm just observing the differences that I see in these images based on what I give it. And then the other thing that you can do, so let's take the stylize out. The other thing you can do is you can assign the style weight to this image, right? Or the new images that you now generate with this style. And you do that by adding dash dash SW for style weight. And it goes from zero to 1000. 100 is the default. So let's try, try style weight zero and then basically increase it to different increments. And I'm going to use a... Um, permutation here so I can run them all at one time to save some time here. So I'm going to try all of them and I just want to see what happens here. Again, this is basically, the, these are my early experiments and tests with these. So I want to just kind of figure out how to use it and then also what type of results I get. So now let's start going through some of the results while the others still generate. 
So this is the nighttime uh, street scene for the cyberpunk woman. Ooh, these look pretty cool. The, so you can see, even though they are not exactly the same, that the style is pretty consistent to the original ones, right? They're not that much different. So um, it is staying consistent. Okay, um, let's look at this one here is Style Raw. Style Raw is a bit milder. It is not as a strong of an effect as the um, without Style Raw. Um, although these to me look pretty strong still, but again, it could also be because the actual subject and the style that I'm using that affects what this looks like. Now, this is with stylized 250, just the regular stylized parameter added. And this is stylized 500. And some of these look really cool. So again, then it just depends on what you're after, right? As always, it depends on what type of results you want, then you pick and choose. So let's say, for example, if I really like this stylized 500, now I could just generate more of these images with this exact parameter just by hitting rerun. And then I could pick from there the best one that I want for my purposes. Now, this is style weight zero for this style reference. So meaning I just told Midjourney, do not use any style reference. So it is not pulling anything from that. And it is basically just pulling the cyberpunk woman street scene nighttime. And I want to test this also by just, and let's again run this at the same time, because I really want to see if the style reference has any um, effect on the outputs if I don't use it. And if I just basically use the same prompt anyway, because if I add style weight zero, then shouldn't be shouldn't it just be like I wasn't using it at all? Let's find out. So this is still zero, zero, just looks uh, like a normal cyberpunk woman street scene, nighttime, right? Okay, and then this is 250, style weight is 250, right? So otherwise the settings are the same. This is not the regular stylized, this is how much weight is given to the style reference, which is still pinned here, as you can see. Okay, and this is 500. Now it's starting to change a bit more. I don't necessarily, personal preference again, I don't necessarily like this much effect. I like just the default at this point anyway. I don't know, to me it looks a bit more fuzzier or just a little bit different from what I had it originally. So personally, I would just stay more on the lower end of the style weight. Like this is style weight 1000 and see how much graininess there is here. Um, and that's not necessarily what I'm after here. The colors are still correct and the style still looks the same. It just has lost something from the original ones. This is still 1000. Now, here is one that does not have anything else except the usual cyberpunk woman street scene nighttime. It doesn't have any style reference whatsoever. So it does look different, right? It doesn't have the neon um, purple, pink, bluish colors. So even with the style weight zero, it appears that it is pulling some of that style anyway. So that's a good evaluation for us to use and see how the style reference affects the image outcomes. Now, let's take a look at a couple of more things here. Here, I'm starting out again with the very basic one without adding anything else in it because, again, personal preference, I like this one the best, I think. But now I want to see what happens if I change the prompt completely. So let's say I'm going to say cathedral, for example. Um, medieval. I mean, it's not a perfect prompt, but I'm just trying to come up with something to say. And then let's um, do a sports car. Um, obviously, you can add more um, excitement, um, you know, and additional things into these prompts. These prompts are just super simple, just for demonstration purposes. Here, I'm going to say the sports car in a mountain road. And let's see what happens with these particular um, completely different prompts from this woman theme. Here is the medieval cathedral. Now, I can see here that some of these have the colors a bit off from the original if I was trying to add these particular colors here. So then my question is, if I add the colors here, so for example, saturated colors, let's see what happens with that. 
like, do I need to, what I'm trying to observe now is do I need to add additional words to the prompt to make it then look more like it? Because for example, out of these four images, um, the closest one is perhaps, perhaps this one that looks like there's fire, but it is still grainy, right? So it's lost something in the process here, although you could still upscale it, right? This is not upscaled here or elsewhere. You can use other tools to upscale as well. Um, but let's then also include pink, purple, black. I think that was the original ones and see what happens. Um, I'm simply observing because, you know, these are the first times that I'm running these prompts and in general playing with the style reference to see how can I better help get then or keep the same style? Or should I add more than one reference style? And maybe that helps it as well. But let's try that in a different video. This one, I want to keep fairly basic and just see what happens with these ones. This one is also pretty close to the original style reference. Now, here's the sports car. Now, this looks much closer and this looks cool, right? So maybe it has something to do also with your subject, what uh, works better versus another. These look great. And then again, so let's say I really liked this particular one. I could then go to this prompt and I can say, well, okay, let's see what happens if I just do the style weight at zero, for example. And then let's try another one with style weight 50. And we'll see them in a little bit here as we go and work through these images. And here's the sports car in a mountain road. These ones, the style is very close to the original one, in my opinion. Here is the cathedral with adding the word saturated colors. So now we can see that the colors are much closer to the original style, which basically tells me that it helped me to add those colors in here. Now here, I also added the pink, purple, and black, and that seemed to work as well. These are pretty cool. Um, I like them. So, so did the style transfer successfully? I think it's pretty successful. I do see that there is some blurriness here, but again, upscaling can alleviate some of that. Now here we have a sports car. Now this looks fantastic. I'm not going to lie, but this is with style weight zero. So there is no influence of the style whatsoever. Now, when I say this again, I want to do another test and I'm going to take out this whole style reference and see what happens with sports car alone. So we'll see that in a little bit. Here's another sports car style weight zero, right? So basically it eliminated it all together. Now here is style weight 50. Now the style is back. So even with this minimal style addition, it picks up that style, right? And these look pretty fantastic. Here is the sports car, no style reference, no nothing. So clearly, I mean, it's just a regular sports car, but it's basically the same type of image that we get when we add style reference and style weight zero. So basically, what the conclusion potentially is, there needs to be more testing. However, if you were to use a style reference, then you would need to have some style weight in it. And default is a good place to start. But basically, if you put it to zero, then it seems like it's as if you didn't use the style reference at all, right? So all in all, I think with this short experiment, let's look at this bigger picture here. Um, just in general, you know, if you look at these images here, and this was the one with the cyberpunk without any style reference, you see it's different, right? And then here are the other images, and they all have a very similar style. So then it just depends on what other settings you want to use. So this is an exploration in progress. I will keep going and we will do another one where we'll add some other elements and play with some other different things. Thanks for watching.